COVID wars continue to plague China as Shanghai reports its highest daily death toll of 51. The capital, Beijing, warns of a grim situation ahead despite harsh lockdowns and mass testing. The country is witnessing its worst outbreak in nearly two years. After a worrying spike in the Shanghai cases and related deaths, Beijing is now under threat as the cases in the capital have also started rising. Beijing reported 22 new cases on Sunday. The outbreak, along with the news of supply shortage in Shanghai, has triggered massive panic among the citizens of Beijing. In dramatic visuals coming in from Beijing, scores of people can be seen flooding the markets to buy essential supplies, such as vegetables and other groceries. Long queues can be seen in front of the cash counter as people try to stock up on large amounts of goods in preparation for a potential lockdown in the city. Personally, I and I think it's the same for young people and those in their 30s. Don't plan to go grocery shopping. Generally speaking, the elders at home have more time and they have a stronger mindset of having to take care of their children and their families. So they are more proactive. But for the others like us, we have to treat this situation as per normal. Seeing so many people buying food at the same time made me a little nervous. But actually, the situation is still okay. Amid rising cases, authorities in Beijing have called for another round of mass testing in the capital's biggest district, Xiaoyang, an attempt to curb the spread of the virus. People can be seen lined up in long queues in front of testing centers to get themselves checked. Authorities are likely to tighten the restrictions in order to prevent a situation similar to Shanghai. The stock market sank on Monday on growing concerns that lockdowns in China and shares in Hong Kong and mainland China plunged amid growing fears. The Shanghai Composite Index shared 5.3%, while the Shenzhen Composite Index on China's second exchange dived over 6%. As China struggles to get a grip on a COVID outbreak that has now forced Shanghai, the country's biggest city, into a lockdown, causing a huge dip in demand. Extended lockdown in the economic capital has also raised monetary alarm in the country. As frustration mounts in the city, people fear that a strict lockdown measure could cripple the entire economy of China and even have global implications. For more insights on this, we earlier spoke to our correspondent Patrick Falk for the latest from Beijing. Take a look. Well, this has been day one of mass testing here in Beijing, and there have been long queues snaking around streets and different areas, particularly in Chaoyang district, which is where the focus of the outbreak in the capital is. Uh, people have been told they need to get tested three times over the course of the next week. And the reason why this is happening, I mean, there have been a small number of cases that have cropped up in the capital in recent weeks, but in particular there were uh, 11 cases reported in the space of 24 hours in Chaoyang district over the weekend. So that's really kicked authorities into gear calling for this mass testing. They're telling people that if they don't get a negative test result, they won't be able to go back to their offices. Uh, and it is serious by all accounts. They say that uh, there are multiple transmission chains and that there may be a number of undetected cases circulating that have been circulating within the city for over a week now uh, so it has been a big day of people getting out, out and queuing up uh, to get tested of course causing a little bit of disruption uh, to work but by and large it's been calm and orderly there has also been a bit of panic buying at supermarkets and so on and so forth uh, particularly uh, because of what people have seen in Shanghai with food shortages but authorities have assure people that there are ample supplies, but I think most people in Beijing aren't leaving it down to chance for now. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.